this proposal number one because it contains uh, some uh, quite extraordinary arrangements for next week's business. Uh, the government is proposing uh, that there be no questions next week, uh, that, um, uh, that there be no leaders' questions except on Tuesday, there be no order of business on Wednesday. Uh, and this is to clear the decks for um, uh, the budget and um, I understand that it's also the government's intention uh, to bring in a social welfare bill uh, next week. Now, in normal, in normal circumstances, uh, you know th that would be quite, um, quite a remarkable way uh, to do uh, to do the budget. But it is particularly so uh, the, in the present year, in light of the document that was presented here yesterday evening, mm -hmm. at the end of the two-day debate on the EU IMF uh, agreement. Now, I described that agreement as a sellout at the weekend, but uh, it wasn't until yesterday evening uh, that we got the document uh, containing the full details uh, of the sellout. Um, I had been looking for these documents, the various documents relating to the, uh, relating to the, uh, relating to the deal, um, and we didn't see them until yesterday evening. It's quite an extraordinary document. It is effectively, the government is proposing effectively uh, to agree the budgets for the next three years uh, with the EU and with the, the IMF. Uh, it's down to a level of detail that we have never seen before, uh, amount of expenditure, amounts of tax, specific timetabled commitments in respect of property taxes, uh, water charges, uh, pensions, none of which have been legislated for uh, by the House. Uh, detailed, detailed commitments uh, to be implemented. Um, it really is a surrender of the country's economic freedom. That's what's contained in this document. And I want to say very clearly that the Labour Party certainly cannot be bound by what is contained in this document. Uh, not only for democratic reasons, but there also will be other because opportunities it, to won't make these points. it won't work. It won't work. That's the whole you. point, Ekan Korla. That is the whole point, Ekan Korla. We will have another opportunity or another time what other opportunity? to make these points. What other opportunity? There will be other times to make these points. There will be other times to make these points. I can't. It's the order of business. I can't allow the promotion of debate to such an extent. That Brief is. statements are fine, but yes. it's far too extensive. Yes, Account Corley, you have kindly suggested that there will be another opportunity for me to, uh, to raise this. The reason I'm objecting to the order of business is precisely because there won't be another opportunity here, here. to raise this important matter. This is a document of economic surrender by the government. And there is no other opportunity in which to, to raise it, because the arrangements that the government are proposing for next week don't allow any opportunity uh, to, uh, to, to, to raise it. They have, they have submitted or are submitting a document and letters which are craven to the IMF and to the EU, and which won't work, which won't work. And there are, a list of, there are a list of prominent economists who have written about this over the course of the last 24 hours. William Buter, the chief economist of Citigroup, who says accessing external sources of funds will not mark the end of Ireland's troubles. Professor Eichen Green of Berkeley, the Irish rescue package finalised over the weekend is a disaster. Paul Krugman, the Nobel laureate in economics, who says that this deal amounts to reparations imposed on an innocent public. That's what this is. And we are being given, we are being given no opportunity. We are being given no opportunity to, to debate it. Next week, I'm sure. Yes, that's the whole point. That is the whole point, Ekan Korla. That is the whole point. Because this is, this has never, I cannot allow this to continue. This has never, this has never, you may not want to, you may not want to allow us to discuss this, but we will not allow this to happen. This is a sellout of our country. Deputy, this is a surrender please, by this government Deputy, of this please, country's sovereignty, Deputy, of its right to make its own decisions, chair, of its right to determine its own budgets, and the Labour Party, the whoever else, this, whoever else may want to be bound no, by this, the Labour Party will not be bound by this document.